Well, that didn't take too long, did it? After seeing the release of LOL Minor 1.61, MiniZ has responded with an update to Mining Flux in version 1.9 Z4. Let's take a look, comparing it to version 1.61 of LOL Miner. I thought to do something different this time and work within a Windows environment. For today, we'll be working with an RTX 3060 from ASUS. Since we want to see the improvements that are claimed in the new version, let's first revisit version 1.9 Z3 of Mini Z. For each evaluation today, I've chosen to allow the miner to run for at least 5 minutes and we'll be looking at the lowest hash rate. After 5 minutes, with version 1.9 Z3, we can observe 38.56 solutions. Prior to October, I expect we'd all be pleased with that number. Let's now run version 1.9 Z4. After a few minutes, we can report 45.67 solutions, which demonstrates an improvement of approximately 7, or 15%. This is in line with MiniZ's claim of up to 20%. Is this significantly better than LOL Miner? Now we'll run version 1.61 of LOL Miner and do a comparison. I'm going to give a lot of credit to the developer of LOL Miner. They took the initiative to innovate and deliver a much needed improvement to their miner. This is what's great about competition. In turn, MiniZ had to respond with their own improvement. After several minutes, we can see that LOL Miner is running well, but with a lowest rate of 40.1 solutions. To be fair to both applications, their averages are higher, but I subscribe to the adage that one is only as strong as your weakest link. In this comparison, MiniZ comes out on top with 45.67 versus 40.1 solutions. Let's keep in mind that your results will vary on the silicon lottery and what overclocks you are using. Plus, in today's demonstration, we're working within a Windows environment with the screen capture application. In my observation, both miners are good. I'd be fine working with either one, but I want to note that I observed MiniZ being more consistent in its level of performance. It does not have as big of swings as LOL Miner. Before I wrap up though, let's look at MiniZ and efficiency. You could operate your cards like a politician and just run them at stock, but we the community know better, so let's take a closer look. All I am going to do in Afterburner is lower my power limit to 58%. Ultimately, this is the subject matter that has allowed both MiniZ and LOL Miner to simply smile at the results. 40.52 solutions at 99.6 watts in software, giving us just shy of 41% efficiency. For myself, at these overclocks, I can run the card at about 25 watts less and only give up maybe five solutions. I happen to have several 3060s offline, but if I can bring even one back online while running at the same power draw, that makes me happy. That will do it, so if you happen to be mining Flux, which software are you using? I'd be curious to see if Gminer is going to respond with an update themselves. If the subject matter was informative, please hit the like button, at the same time, consider subscribing. I myself look at the Flux Network with enthusiasm and anticipate releasing more videos that focus on that subject. Until next time, thanks for watching.